No prison time for the seven Americans and one Jamaican national who recently pleaded guilty to attempting to smuggle millions of dollars worth of cocaine out of the island. Now the sentencing was handed down in the St. Anne Parish Court earlier today. Sandy Williams has the details. Instead of prison time, the eight people, seven Americans and one Jamaican, were slapped with hefty fines. The fines were for possession and attempting to export cocaine. Haley Lawrence was fined $850,000 or six months for possession and $30,000 or six months for taking steps to export. Kaylee Hall, one million or 11 months for possession and $30,000 or nine months for taking steps to export cocaine. Tishina Bryson was fined $1.2 million or 11 months in prison. The other convicts were given fines ranging from $1 million to $1.2 million by presiding judge Michelle Salmon. In handing down the sentencing, the judge noted the case is serious and cited the eight convicts knew what they were doing. Attorney Odane Marston represented the four females, while attorney Donovan Collins represented the four males. It's a sentence in my mind that I would consider a bittersweet sentence. We are indeed grateful of the fact that it is not a custodial sentence, but it is still one that will send a strong message to the community in the form of being such an exorbitant fine. Although uh, my clients uh, were fined, and as such, they might not be going to prison. It is clear that based on the level of fines, that this should serve as a deterrence to other persons who might want to involve in matters of this nature. The eight drug traffickers were caught attempting to smuggle 17 kilograms of cocaine with a street value of $130 million onto a cruise ship docked in Ocherea, St. Anne, last month. The police say they were all passengers. Sandy Williams, TVJ News.